Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Look at Mr. Happy over there. We are up early because farm life. And we got these amazing little helpers on the farm today. So I put them to work. <laughs> and said, you guys can help clean. They actually said, I want to clean poop. See all this old hay? You can even take it. I put it in the bucket. I clean poop and I clean up the old hay. This? Yep. Everybody's out in the morning. The horses are out. Last night we went for a haunted trail walk and um, we got to see Chino sleeping in a stall. You guys probably already have seen that. And it was so beautiful and I always pay super close attention to my to my instincts and I really felt like he was he was he's getting better and he's coming back. He looked like I just saw so much health in him even though he was half asleep. Anyway, I love this. Here, sit on a block. You wanna sit on a block? I'll move it for you. Once Chino gets a little bit better, we're gonna be putting his food in this thing again. We only have so many pitchforks. Sam has one in the barn, otherwise I'd help too. Cause someone said in the comments today that chores is so, is so, I forget what she said, but chores are like the most peaceful thing. Like they're just, you can put it on that stand there. Yeah, and then, there you go. Do you want me to go empty it? All the way or you can go this way, but do you want me to empty it? No. I'll go do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll all go. I have this huge wheelbarrow of rocks that we picked out of Chino's field. I just leave it here and then we throw them in here whenever we find them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Like, I can't just leave them here all the time. I want to clean it up. Today, that's my goal to clean up some things. I feel like rocks are something useful on a farm. Like, there's a good place, time, and place for them. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. Nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold. I'm just sitting here teaching everybody how to muck, muck a field. I'm like, rake it into a pile. <laughs> Makes it easier. It is not even breakfast time yet, and we've already given booster shots to our goats. Cleaned our paddocks, let all the animals out. Like we've been busy farmers. It's noon now, everyone's gone. It is freezing out. I'm gonna put on my new coat that I just got from Costco. Even though I hardly got any sleep because we didn't go to bed till 12.30. Sophie's down picking apples or pears. Even though we didn't get much sleep last night because we stayed up so late, we went wandering on the trail. We did a haunted trail walk which was super fun. We still have a lot to do on the farm. Wow, they look good. We should have gave some of those to the kids. I like to come and watch Gabby when she does her daily stuff with Chino. Sam is with her at night. I get so many alerts on my phone every day when the horses come in. I am beat. So, what is on you? You see your face. What is that? What is that? You got prickles on you? Why don't you have a pear? <laughs> you like it? Here, feed her her ass. Feed everybody some. Where's your hair fly mask? What the heck, man? Everybody who comes in without a fly mask is in big trouble from now on. Wait. Oh, Penny ate it out of my hand so fast. Spit it out. Like I did she's taking a bite now. Whew, got it. Okay, get past the storm. That's a that's impressive, you guys. The old Laura would never put her hand right down there. Here, Storm. That's honey's bite. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, let me show. Oh That's honey's there bite. There was a time she couldn't bite like that. That's adorable. Oh. 
<laughs> watch it again. I swear the horses come for treats. <laughs> They're like, eh, we're bored out here. Let's go to the barn and see if anybody has a pair for us. Give some to Gracie, too. She's the only one who didn't yeah, get one. Yeah, I just want Honey to have at least a little bit of it. So, things have changed a lot I on our little farm since we brought home Storm home. I loved watching you run last night. I didn't like that you were scared, but I loved watching you run. And the only reason she was scared, last so last night, my nephew was here, and the horses weren't expecting to see him. They didn't recognize him. And I was standing like this and I was filming like my nephews, but I was watching Storm over here and I didn't get it on film. The camera was like this, I was watching Storm and he literally turned his head, stared at my nephew and then bolted out of the arena. Like bolted, oh my gosh, I never laughed so hard in my life. Gabby's gonna do Chino's feet. Penny supervising. She's like, I really like those pears, Laura. Well, guess what, Penny? Sylvia and I are gonna go pick a bunch of pears and keep them in the, the other room. We got lots of pears, Penny Pickle. So today, when my nephews were cleaning out, we're helping to clean out the paddock. Chino over there eating his hay. But they were out here cleaning up the paddock and it looks really good. I clean it up about twice a week, like really clean it up and they got it all, all this whole area cleaned up, like the whole area cleaned up. It took them a long time. And Chino stood there while he, where he was eating and he pooped. And the minute he pooped, there's honey over there. The, my one nephew looked at us, put down his rake and said, I give up. <laughs> well, they cleaned up all the poop. I was picking up rocks. The only problem is I found this rock and it's massive and I can't get it up and it's pointy on the top and it, it's annoying and I don't want to leave it in here but I just literally can't get it out. I'm torn between digging this sucker up or burying it. I got a bucket of pears. Oh, we got a bucket of pears, you guys. The horses will love them. Look how huge they are. That's amazing, you should put them in the fridge in the barn. We need to go cook more. You want to go collect more? Yeah. As soon as Gabby's done Chino's feet, we'll go collect more. We'll get a bigger bucket. Put them in the fridge and they will last. Did you give Willow one? No, I'm going to do that now. Did you guys know that horses can get germs and bacteria from apples and pears like this if they haven't been washed first? So I'm going to actually wash all of them and put them back in a bucket and put them in the fridge. Who knew Sophie's interest would lead to trees? <laughs> Sophie is really into the pears. Here, <laughs> Here, let me climb up on a ladder. There's some really nice ones at the top. Well, I got a really nice one. All right, put it in the bucket. We're gonna try this little ladder and see uh, if it will work. All right, honestly, who is dumb enough to climb up a tree you. to pick pears for <laughs> our horses? All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys away. Sophie visits this tree every single day. Yeah, we can't pick anymore. Yeah, we got some. Don't pick those ones. Those leave those ones for the deer. They're fine for Willow and Honey, cause Honey, it's painful to watch her bite. All right, so got one up in the top. We should go check and see if there's any nice apples. So over here, this tree is full of pears, absolutely full. And way up at the top, there's some really nice ones. But look, can you guys see all those? So many pears. And then all over here. So many pears. Don't you know that you're beautiful?